All right, so we've all had this happen. You've got a big plate of multiple parts printing, everything looks great, all of a sudden one of them has come loose and failed. No more does this mean you have to restart from the beginning. Clipper added a slick new feature that lets you tell the printer just to skip that part. It's super easy to set up, and we're going to show you how. The first step is to make sure you have your Clipper and Moonraker up to date. Edit your Moonraker config and enable object processing. Save that, edit your printer config and add an exclude objects tag. And the last step is to enable individual object naming in the slicer. You're going to want to go into print settings and then under output options, output file, check in that label objects box. Now when a print fails, you can easily just cancel the part right from the web UI. In Fluid, you need to enable the G-Code preview dashboard widget. Once enabled, you can cancel objects in two different ways. So you can click the object you want to cancel, or you can access this little menu here with your named parts and simply click the one you want to cancel. In main sale, the process is a little easier. Click the Exclude Objects button, which brings up this little overlay of all the parts. Click the part you want to cancel and confirm it. The last thing we want to mention is that the process of interpreting all these parts can be very intensive, especially on some slower pies. We use a post-processing script alongside the slicer to handle this before uploading the G-code to the printer. You can grab this script using the link in the description. Once downloaded, configure it as a post-processing script in your slicer like that. And now all the heavy lifting will be done by your computer. And with that done, you can disable object processing in your Moonrigger config. And that's it. I hope you liked the video.